Ooh, the bowls are very pretty. Make your own calming crystal candles. This will be really perfect for it. Belts are on trend. You look so pretty. Oh, you got one too, did you? Do you recall in my last Kmart video, probably a couple of weeks ago, I showcased to you the White Mason 12-piece dinner set that I saw at Kmart. And I was deciding whether I should get it or not. But if I was going to get it, I would probably need three boxes because whenever we have Sunday dinners, there's generally more than, if we have the extended family, there's more than the two boxes that I would need. My husband asked me what I wanted for Mother's Day and I was thinking I, I would get a spa voucher because who doesn't like a spa voucher? And then afterwards, I was seeing all your comments on the Kmart video that went up, I think around about the same time as Mother's Day. And Kevin, my husband, hadn't bought me the Mother's Day gift yet. So I said to him, actually, scrap the spa voucher. Can you please buy me the dinner sets? And that way, whenever I have family over, I have a whole new set of dishes that I can play with. And that means that I can get rid of all the old higgly piggly ones that I did like, but I no longer like. Anyway, I do feel guilty about getting rid of those. I'm going to put them in a box and then decide whether I take them to savers at the store because you can't actually put those, I don't think, in the bins. Obviously, they crack and break. So I'm going to take them to savers or I might just do like a marketplace free for a good home type of notice for someone to come and pick them up from my home. So anyway, I finally got three boxes of the white mason 12 piece dinner set for mother's day talking of which i hope you all had a fabulous mother's day and got completely spoiled i asked my children to basically cook dinner for me so i have three children two of them have partners so they decided between them who was going to make an entree who was going to make a main and who was going to make dessert and let me tell you it is so nice as a mother of older children now to see that they can actually you know, one, they can take care of themselves by cooking a decent meal and two, that they know how to spoil mum without really having to go and spend much, but just by investing their time, which for me felt really valuable on Mother's Day, specifically this year. I don't know why. I just felt so loved by having all three children and their partners just create a delicious meal for me. My son and his girlfriend made a huge antipasto platter, which was absolutely delicious. And then my daughter and her partner, she made pork ribs, which were absolutely divine, and a salad. And then my youngest daughter, she made me two desserts, two cakes and a fruit platter. I'd originally asked for an orange cake, and then um, she thought that the orange cake mightn't be enough. And what happened was she, when she made the orange cake, when she flipped it over, it broke and she was absolutely devastated. So she made do with that, but then she also made my favourite Nigella chocolate, olive oil chocolate cake, which is dairy free, which is perfect for my daughter's partner. And then she made a fruit platter. So by the end of the night, I was ready to burst, but I just felt so loved and just appreciated. And it was wonderful. So I hope that all of you had the same experience uh, on Mother's Day, if you're mothers or a mother influences. So anyway, let me open these boxes for you. I basically want to open them all just to make sure that there's no breakage. Put them in a dishwasher to run them through a quick recycle before drying them and putting them away and sorting and resetting my cabinet. Have you got this this yet? It is absolutely beautiful. I just love the, the look of it. It just has that old world charm but with a new modern twist or edge to it that I absolutely, well, it called out to me. What can I say? Oh, look how pretty they are. I love them. Okay, let's stack them to one side and just check that they're all okay. And the plates, the dinner plates are quite large and I love how the edge is not too high but not too low either and it's got a nice broad face of a plate so the food is going to look really pretty in the centre and dished up. This next box looks like it might be the bowls. Oh, the bowls are very pretty. I'm not sure, like, they're not your standard pasta bowls that the other ones that I have are. Let me show you. See, the other ones are more your traditional pasta bowls, whereas these are more a smaller bowl. So because I'm used to this, I'm not sure how I'll manage these. Definitely what it means is that 
I'll be able to put less food and therefore this will be healthier for my waistline. But the eye likes to see the bigger plate. So I might pop back into Kmart and have a look if I can find the pasta bowl or the bigger bowls in this set. Fingers crossed. I mean, there are some imperfections in it. I think there's a little pink prick in middle head. Anyway, there's a little imperfection there, but I don't think that's going to impact the wearability of the plate. So I'll just keep that. Okay, so let me fast forward into the next section. So I'll open all the dishes and then I'll come back to you when I take the dishwasher. Now, yeah. open them all up, the three boxes, and they're all perfect. So now, I'm just going to go put them in the dishwasher, I run them through a rinse cycle and then start playing with the new layer. And I have to say, the lip fits perfectly into my dishwasher, you know, the edges. Remember the old square dishes that were all the vogue maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago? I could never get them to wash in the dishwasher properly, they just didn't fit properly. So those used to have to get washed by hand, but these fit perfectly in here. that maybe I can put the old dishes in these boxes and it makes it easier to stack them. Let me do that. This is what my old dishes used to look like or look like now. Bit of a hot mess. I think I'm going to keep these dishes here. Just for when we have parties and I need extra dishes, although really when we have parties we have disposable dishes, so I won't need these. Okay, nope, I'll get rid of these two. These are came at once and my girls love these, so these I will keep. Salad bowls will stay. These are the IKEA ones from last year or maybe the year before. Matching blue. Pig bowls. Then higgly piggly different bowls. Okay, give it a quick one. Right, let me talk to you about these. I got these stands. They're metal stands from Ikea and they're really sturdy. They were able to hold up a good eight dishes on top of them. So I don't know that I'll need them. I'll put them back in the cabinet until I can figure out how to style or how to stack my dishes. not working. These dishes are too wide to slide from underneath these trays. This is not gonna work. That will work, but if I buy the pasta bowls, they're gonna have to go up the top there. So it's still a work in progress, but I do like the fact that everything is matching now and I don't have all odd colours everywhere. Okay, I'll be back. I'm just off to Kmart to see what's new and to see if I can find the bowls, the big bowls, this size bowls in this pattern. So see you later. So let's go and explore what's new at Kmart today. Of course, I am only here to have a look at the pasta bowls to complete my set. But how can you walk through Kmart and not just be distracted by the new baskets right here in the entrance? These are beautiful. They're the square seagrass woven baskets in natural. They're 42 by 42 centimeters and would look absolutely beautiful with a throw cascading over it at the foot of a couch or a bed. The cable jumper in a crew mile looks so warm and cozy. And what's this? A new style dress in cotton? A boho style wraparound dress? How can this be? It just gives me cottage vibes. It's lightweight and for those viewers of mine from the north who are lucky to enjoy mild winters, this dress is perfect for you. Or if you're in Melbourne like me, this can be bought for next spring 
or if like me you're enjoying hot flushes then you can wear this even now and it's got a perfect modesty hook right at the neckline just to make it simpler to wear. I love the flowy look of this dress it is so pretty. And this pattern also comes in a blouse. This is a notch neck swing top in a Georgette fabric. This blouse is long sleeved with button cuffs and gathered details, a swing shape and a high low curved back hem. This feels like a crepe fabric. Similar pattern to the dress, but the dress was cotton. This blouse also comes in navy and the sizing is from a six all the way up to a 20. comparing sizes between the bowls that I have at home and this new one so this is definitely a dinner bowl it's not quite the same pattern it's got that brown bit at the bottom that really doesn't match and the top bit doesn't really look like that I really wanted it to look more like that pattern which is my bowls at home I mean it doesn't clash but it's not the same is it I think I might have to give it up and they're $3.50 each and I need 12 so it's going to make it 35 and 7 $42 for 12 bowls. Which is more than the set on its own because the set was $40 for 12 so I might give it a miss. I'd only be buying them just because I wanted the large bowls but realistically I might give the size of these bowls a try. They're not too small. There's some new glassware on the shelves. These are the Spectrum wine glasses in four unique colours to each box. So each guest can get their own glass. It's also available in a stemless glass box, but that comes in a box of six instead of four. And it also comes in coupe glasses, which give me a very 60s vibe. All three styles cost $16 a box. I love the look of the Ruffle Fragrant Candle for $12. This is beautifully scented in peach and violet. Not that my dogs need a new bed, but I can't help browsing in this section. I see a new hexagonal shaped bed in white, of course, out of all the colors. This would be so difficult to keep clean. So I'm checking to see whether the cover is removable. It's so soft and cuddly and it's just so pretty. But the cover is not removable, so it would be really difficult to keep this clean. However, I go back and I check the self-warming bed again. Once again, I showed you this bed last time I was at Kmart. And now I'm checking to see that it actually has a zipper, which makes it removable, which means that I could wash this in the washing machine on a gentle cycle and keep it clean. However, I just need to keep thinking it about it a little bit longer because my pets don't need a new bed. Oh, these are so pretty. They're so cute. Only eight dollars. Maybe I can buy one each for Daisy and Coco. Hmm. That's really pretty. Hmm. I don't often come into the arts and crafts section. That's a good deal. Make your own crystal candle for $4. I was going to buy this, but instead I'm buying the kit and making my own with what I have at home. The Felix book like cushions are gorgeous and in an ulterior life I would decorate my bedroom from bedhead to doona cover in the boucle finish. I particularly like the forest green cushion. It is absolutely gorgeous. But why stop at just the green one? The brown one is beautiful and obviously the cream one is beautiful and it also comes in round. I can't wear thermals at the moment because I just get really hot. 
but I do feel like I need something underneath just to smooth out the bumps. Don't know whether I'll go for that one, which is spaghetti straps, or this one here, which is more singlet. I think I might go for the singlet. I don't know whether I should get it in skin tone, but they've only got a 10, 12 in the tank top one and the singlet one they've got it in a 14 16. Right, maybe i'll buy one skin tone and the spaghetti one in white i can always think about it right and i can always come back they've got heaps for the moment they also come in black by the way this top caught my eye isn't it cute Chow. it's very soft cotton and it is oh trapeze style that makes sense yeah it's wider at the bottom and slightly high low cut I'm getting a hot flush at the moment, so there is no way I'm going to be trying on any clothes. I'm melting. And I don't think anyone else is melting, so it must be a hot flush. Because everyone else is rugged up with coats, and I don't have anything underneath this jumper. Oh, holy moly. Ugh. These are new. Blue with tiny little flowers. Unlined. And burgundy. Purple plum, what do I call it? It is satin slip Isla stripe. Interesting to see short sleeve dresses out in autumn. I guess if you live up north, you probably can wear these. It's a really cute t-shirt style midi dress. Really pretty. I like the blue. And it comes in olive green. How much are they? Only $18. That's cute. So I want to try these on. They're the striped crew neck dresses. I bought a plain black one last year that I wore to death. It's exactly the same as this with the balloon style sleeves, except that these are striped. I was thinking of maybe doing a try on with this beige one or buying one as styling it at home. I do like the beige one better than the black one though. Only because I've got the black one at home already. Next time, look out for that. This dress is cute. Jumper dress, $34. It is midi length. No splits on either side. Next time. When I come in in a t-shirt. Because, goodness me, but I'm boiling at the moment. I'm really into scarves. This season, for some reason, I really like them. And these are really pretty at Kmart. I don't need a black and white one because I do have one of those. I'm actually after something that's got a bit of purple or burgundy on it. This is cute. It's like a maroon. They're headscarves. I have to keep an eye out because I'm like I'd like something like this. Really cute, but in burgundy and cream. Oh, these are pretty. Yeah, these are really pretty. $49. Cropped sports top really cute oh, poor baby crying in the background hopefully i'll be able to edit it out for you but i remember those days yep i like this this is cute would i wear it probably not i've got heaps of jackets but it's really cute if you work out a lot or you go to the gym a lot on those early mornings when it's really cold this would be really perfect for it oh over jeans over leggings oh not just so it comes in black not as many in black though. There's only one rack of black. And then there's one, two, three racks, four racks of beige because that last one is a fourth one. Ooh, look at these belts. Aren't they cute? Belts are on trend. And this is definitely a statement piece. $10. Goodness me, look what I just found. Bendy rollers. I don't know if I've still got it. I think I might have thrown it out. But do you remember back in the 90s, there were those electric sticks like these, heat sticks that you put in your hair, wind your hair around it, and then your hair would be really, really curly? I think I finally threw that out last year, maybe, in a huge declutter. But look, they're back. Mind you, I kept it for over 20 years, and they finally come back. And these ones here are three different sizes. And there's a mini waiver here, $15. Heats up to 170 degrees Celsius. This would be convenient for traveling. I wonder if it's an international. Well, it says perfect for travel. But you know how sometimes 
our tools don't work overseas. $15, though, that's cheap. And I just read this as mini dental trimmer, and I thought, why do you have to, why do you have to trim your teeth? <laughs> okay, I need a coffee, I think it's that time of day. And a big shout out to Kama in Doncaster. Their beauty section is fully stocked up. I have not seen a, this much makeup at Kama in a very long time. Let's just enjoy, hey? So, it's a little bit later in the day. I finally got home. Can you believe it? I went to the shops to look for one, two things, I think, from Kmart. I needed the a new scratching post for the cats because I would have shown in a video recently that the one that we had is completely well used, shall we say. It's been well loved. So, I went to Kmart at um, Doncaster and while I was there, well, I bought all these things, but for that amount... <laughs> to the wave scratching post that I needed. So I had to quickly pop over to the shops closer to home here now well, because I've destroyed it. So I need a new one. And while I was there, let me show you the new one that I've seen because I forgot my phone at home. So I couldn't log it on the shelf. So here is the new wave scratching post or the new scratching post for my cats. It's a cat scratcher with a flat cross. It's about $12. And what I liked about it was that both sides of it are of the material that the cats can scratch in. So let me open it here and assemble it so we can get it started. And then I'll take it outside or to the kitchen area, living room area, and show it to the cats and see what they think of it. Although Louis here on the bed having a good snooze and a rest, licking himself. No, he's cleaning himself. Can you see him there? Yes. He was sleeping on my bed while I was out. Okay, so this looks like they somehow intersect. Yeah? And it's supposed to look one that way and one this way. Okay, they say that way. Let's have a look. Now, don't laugh because I'm not very good at assembling things. But I think I should be okay with this. Okay, it might have to take me a few minutes to get this organised because is it like that? Am I doing it right? No, I think I'm doing it wrong. Wait, don't laugh. Yep, that way. Yep, that way. Okay. okay. I'm making a huge mess on my jeans. Okay. Yeah. This is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I think it's just me. There we go. Okay, done. Okay. Like that. Okay. So, oh my God, it took three minutes. <laughs> okay, I might have to edit that out. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think it's done correctly. Yeah, I think it's done correctly. Okay, so there's the first level that they can sit on. And then they can also use this side to scratch, and that side to scratch, and, of course, all the way around. So I'm thinking that as this top area gets damaged and well loved, I'll be able to flip it around. Anyway, I'll keep you informed, shall I? What do you think, Alaska? Is it nice? Is it nice? What do you think? Well, it was a bit more. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I've just come home and seen this. So it looks like this little one. <laughs> Alaska, hello, gorgeous girl. Do you want to come in? <laughs> this little one has broken <laughs> the cat scratcher. She's a little bit too heavy for it. <laughs> and, um, yes, <laughs> it's a little bit destroyed. So I don't recommend this if you have a bit of a bigger cat than normal, shall we say? <laughs> yeah, no, I'll have to go back to the normal wave. Plus it was also half the price.
So that's ready to go. What do you think, Louis? Do you like that? What do you think, my pet? What do you think? Why am I annoying you? Oh, my friends are watching you and they all think that you're a lovely cat. But you're not sometimes. You're not sometimes. <laughs> you'll be naughty. Oh, why am I annoying you? Why am I annoying you? Why am I annoying you? Hey? Am I annoying you? No biting. No biting. But you're so cute when you get aggravated, though. You are. You are. It's okay. Okay, enough. All right, then the other things that I brought, you would have seen it as I was going through Kmart, and I'll probably insert it during the video so you can see. But for my dogs, I couldn't resist it. I had to buy these cute little rainbow ombre jumpers. I bought them a size M, so they should fit both of them, and they're a little bit different. So when you buy them from the shelf, they actually have a different colors on them. So this one here has got like a pink collar. So it's pink around the collar. And the other one is more beige around the collar. So I'm thinking that I might give the pink one, I don't know, well, whatever. They're both the same really, but it just shows that the ombre pattern is different. So you can actually choose whichever one attracts you. I was thinking that this one, would probably be nice on Daisy because she's more golden, like she's an apricot fake caboodle. <laughs> and Daisy and Coco, who's all black, this must stand out on her more. So anyway, so we'll play around with it and I'll insert it at the end. Us putting it onto the pets, onto our dog. So we'll see how that goes. Hey, Daisy, shall we try this on? Come here. Come here. Come here, Bob. Come here. Come, Daisy. Come. Which one do you like? Okay, come, come, go, go. Come, say hello to my friends. They never see you. Come. This is Coco. You can't see her because she's black. But she is beautiful. She's a beautiful doggy. Shall we start with you, beautiful? Let's start with you. Which one do you like? I thought that the pink one with the pink collar might look better on you and the yellow one on you. What do you think? What do you think? They smell nice? All right. Come, beautiful girl. Come. Oh, look at this. What's this? Come. Come, go, go. Come, come here. Come on, come on. Good girl. Oh, you look so pretty. Oh, you want one too, do you? You want one too, do you? We got this one. Let me see, let me see. Let me see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look, turn around, turn around, turn around. Do a model shot. Let me show you the model shot. Look at the model. Look at the model. Look at the model. Look, look, look at the model. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, gorgeous girl. Let's do, let's do a bit of a pat. Let's come around. Come around this way. Come here. Let me show. Go over there. No, 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 over there. Yeah, I can't see you over there. Okay, go, go, come. Come on. All right. What about you, Daisy? Do you want one? Do you want one now, too? Yes, you do now, do you? You want one, too, now? Yes. Do you want one? Do you want one? Come, come, come. Come here, baby. Come, Daisy. Come. Come here, beautiful girl. Come. Come here. Come. Come on. Come here. Come. Come here. Come. Come here. Come. Oh, you are so pretty. Come, 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 come. You are so pretty. You are so pretty. Oh, you are so pretty. Oh, look at you. Look at you, look at you. Let's show it off, let's show it off. Let's show off how pretty you are. Look, look how pretty she is. Look how pretty she is, look how pretty she is. <laughs> look how pretty, look how pretty. What about twist this, hold on a minute, let me move it. Come here. Come on, come. Coco, come, Coco, come. Coco, come, 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 come. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. sit, 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 sit. Come here, go, 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 go. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Go, go, sit, 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 sit. No, not like sit. <laughs> sit. <laughs> Never work with children and pets. <laughs> come here. No, sit up, sit, 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 sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. <laughs> sit up. Go, go, sit, 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 go, go, sit.
Messy sit. Look at you. Look at them. Anyway, I'll take some footage when they're not so camera shy. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. Hello, pretty girl. Look at you. Look at you. You're so pretty. I tried making candles and there would have been a video many or a few months ago where I tried making my own candles. And basically what I did was I recycled the containers, the jars, containers from old candles that I'd used. And what I did really simply, really, was buy a white candle, put it inside the containers, melt it in the microwave and just let it take the shape of the container or the vessel that it was in. And it worked. And I added some essential oils to it to make it smell and it worked. It did the job that it was intended to do. But today while I was going through Kmart in the, where was I? What are they called? The arts and crafts. In the arts and crafts section of Kmart, which I don't normally go to, but today I decided to go and have a little wander around and have a look there. I saw these Make With Love DIY Crystal Candle. Make your own calming crystal candles. And they were discounted to $4, which was less than the price of, you know, the same size candle. And I thought this would be cute to try and learn how to make my own candles properly by having all the tools at my disposal. So it comes with a container, which is quite large. This is probably twice the size of the containers that Kmart has, where the candles are $2.50, probably about twice the width of that. It's about 10 centimetres diameter. All the wax that you need in order to melt it, popsicle sticks that you need in order to hold the wicks in place, the basis of the wicks, so the metals, and also what looks like to be a little bit of glue to hold it in the jar. So it looks like every every candle has got two wicks it's, and then it comes with these crystals. It's got pink crystals, purple crystals and white or pale pink crystals. They're very pretty. I'm not, not sure whether it's going to come through but I'll take some photos of it once I've done it. I'm not sure that I'll get it done today or tomorrow before I start editing this video. So I will show you in an upcoming video what the finished product looks like. Otherwise if I can get it done in the next couple of days and then it will make an anticipate in this video anyway sorry rambling anyway so it's pink purple and white and basically it's got all the instructions you need to make the candle and i'm going to follow it so for four dollars i thought this was a phenomenal price it was highly discounted it wasn't clearance and i have to say i grabbed the last two that were on the shelf i'm sorry i was quite green um, the boxes were quite broken, as you can see, and quite damaged, but I checked that everything that was supposed to be in it was in it. So even this one here had the jar, the wax, the crystals, and the wicks that you need. So I'm excited to make my own candles. I, as I said, I had tried making them, and well, they weren't a failure, but they definitely weren't a huge success. So I think I'll have a better chance of making it a success if I use these. I also bought some hair thinning scissors. Sometimes our dogs, well, Daisy doesn't go to the groomers because she's too afraid of them and just they end up having to muzzle her um, to groom her. She's a tiny little dog and she just hasn't been used to being groomed because she's a COVID dog. So what happens is that she does, her fur does grow, but it doesn't grow the same way as Coco's fur grows. She's got the poodle um, gene in her, which... Daisy missed out on so her hair just grows really ratty and long and I thought that by buying the hair thinning scissors from Kmart I'd be able to sort of thin out some areas and just make it look a little bit neater and tidier than she does at the moment and also hopefully use these scissors on Coco as well sometimes when they groom her 
it's lopsided because she doesn't stay still. Even she's a little bit funny when it comes to being groomed. But, you know, she's 14. So she does her best and she's really good at being groomed. But I thought that by having these especially, specifically dedicated to the dogs, I think it might be a handy thing to have. I think these were $12. I stocked up on some more face washes. I don't know about you, but I use face washes uh, as a means of taking off my makeup when I use the Emco Beauty Balm. So I lather it up, rinse it out, and then I always find that I need a, a towel. And if I use my towels, then my towels end up having lots of makeup on them. And so I've started buying face washes. The thing is, after a while, they stop looking white and I've soaked them in nappy sand. I have scrubbed them with sad soap. I bleached them. I've tried everything I could possibly think of and they just never come back white like this again and just they just look ratty. And I'm concerned that maybe some of them, the deposit of the makeup might still be in them because they are stained. So I thought I'd treat myself to a new set. I can't remember how much these were. I think they're like $2.50 maybe from Kmart. And so I have four more to use and put on my vanity in my bathroom to use a fresh and clean going forward. And then I bought two singlets. I'm not sure whether I've recorded it, but while I was going through Kmart today, I was at Doncaster and my goodness, the shopping center was so hot and it was supposed to be 17 degrees here in Melbourne today. And I thought, oh, well, I want to jump up because it's a little bit cold, but I'm not wearing any singlets underneath. So I thought I'll be fine. I'll be able to ventilate on the sides, right? Well, anyway, I got to Kmart and about halfway through wandering around, I got so hot and I think it might have been a hot flush, but anyway, it is what it is, but I got so hot uh, that it started me thinking that maybe what I might do is this winter, if it's going to be like this, I noticed, actually as I was washing, as I was walking through the centre, I noticed another lady walking towards me about my age and she was wearing a linen shirt and I thought, that's smart, I should have done that because, or even just a cotton shirt rather than a jumper because I'm probably better off from now on wearing a shirt and bringing a coat than wearing a woolen jumper because I just find the woolen jumpers are way too hot for me when I start getting hot flushes. Let me know, ladies, who've passed this period in the life. And, um, yeah, what worked for you? Did you just wear normal clothes or did you wear a shirt? I don't know. My mum doesn't remember going through menopause, so I can't really ask her what she felt like it at the time. So anyway, it's all new territory to me. So I bought these singlets. These were in the underwear section. So they were more like, um, what would you call them? Like Spanx support tops. And I thought that these would be really good for underneath like a shirt. And I bought the brown one. They had them in brown, white and black. This is more like a, a dark skin tone. I'm hoping that it won't show when I wear a, a white shirt underneath. I, I think not. I think it'll just, it quite matches okay with my skin tone. So I thought I'd buy a neutral one in more like a skin tone so I can wear under white shirts. And then a white one in case I actually ever want to show it underneath the shirt or underneath the top. And this white one here with the spaghetti straps has got a bit of a, a V line, whereas the tan one or the nude body one, has got more uh, a rounded scoop line. So these are the two things that I bought. I didn't buy much. I was very controlled. However, I did have a look around at some clothes and I feel like there's going to be a, at least if not a clothes haul, definitely a clothes try on at Kmart because I saw some pretty things when I went back there, uh, when I saw this. I did see it at Doncaster, but I did see them at Malaco Shopping Centre. So look out for that. I'm sure there'll be a try on haul or a try on in store coming up your way. Anyway, let's take this stuff into the living room and let's show it to the pets and see what they think of it. And in case I forget, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Bye. This has well and truly reached the end of its shelf life. Let's see who's going to be the first one to go and use it. Itchy. Do you like your new scratching mat? Let's have a look. Ooh. What do you think of it, beautiful? Is that nice? What do you do? Ooh. I don't know, it's going to sustain the weight. <laughs> oh, yes. What about you, Louie? Do you like it too? Do you want to go use it too? Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it, Gucci? That looks really good, doesn't it? Oh, you like it. <gasps> Do you approve it? Do you approve it? Oh, you're too cute. Here we go, here we go.
That's so cute. <laughs> what do you think, Alaska? Is it nice? Well, it was a bit more. <laughs>